Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. My store and closet name is El Ducho, E-L-D-U-C-H-O, and you can find me on Instagram at El Ducho Thrift. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you'd like to be, hit the button down below and give me a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. So today's video is being sponsored by Skillshare. If you've watched any of my previous hauls, you may have seen them as a sponsor before and I'm so happy to have them back. Skillshare is an online learning platform that they have 22,000 different courses on a range of different topics. I actually just received an email this evening with my suggested videos to watch for the week and there was one on how to create like DIY flat lay surfaces, which I'm excited to watch that. And then also mobile editing from your phone because I take all my pictures on my phone. So that's going to be one that's useful for me also. If you're interested in learning more about Skillshare, they are offering my viewers a two month free subscription to try out, see if you like it. I will put that link in the description down below. Check it out. I hope you enjoy it. So on to today's haul. Hi, this is the final installment of this version of my 300 pound <laughs> Goodwill outlet haul from Los Angeles. So if you've been watching any of my other videos, you'll have seen there was part one, two, three, and now this is four. So I'm super excited to have this done with and show it all to you guys. There's some really awesome stuff in here. I don't want to be like, I say for the best for last because I think I mixed it up all really well. So I don't know, you can decide. You can watch and figure out what you think of everything. So here it is. If you guys are interested in purchasing anything from my hauls, certainly you can check out any of my stores. But if you are very quick, you can just email me and I will sell it to you directly. So let's get started. All right, so I'm just going for it. This is, I'm just checking if there's any flaws, but my light is so bright I almost can't see. This is Eloise and this is an anthropology brand or urban, not sure which one. Um, I've, I feel like I've also seen it as like E Eloise, like it'll just be the E, but this one actually says Eloise and this is 100% silk and it's a robe, kimono, not sure. I do have the belt for it, it's, it's like a yellow. I do have the belt, it's somewhere in here, but anyway, I think that said small, medium. Okay, this is a Forever 21 plus size plaid gingham tunic dress, unfortunately. There's no belt, which I just now noticed, but it's just a shirt dress or tunic. So I think this one is a size two, which is towards vanity sizing. So it'd be like a two X, I believe. I can't remember anything about this shirt. <laughs> so if you've seen, excuse me, I burp too. I'm, wow, a little bit of a hot mess. Okay, the brand is, okay. The brand is Isabella Sinclair. It's a size large. I think this is linen. Why did I pick this up? Do you guys know anything about this? If you've heard any of my other videos, I always run comps while I'm at the bins, you know, to make sure I'm taking home stuff that I'd want to sell or the comps are good. I'm not seeing anything on here that's making me think like, oh, that's why I picked this up. So Isabella Sinclair, what do you know about that? Okay, this shirt is awesome. When my husband saw this, he was like, is that for me? But unfortunately, it's not his size. Otherwise, it would be. But it is vintage, I believe. Tasmanian Devil button-down men's shirt. This is a size medium. It's Looney Tunes, as to be expected. There's that. Okay, this is kind of a bummer because I didn't get it listed before the 4th of July, and it clearly would have been a great 4th of July jacket, but I'm not worried about it. I'm sure I will still be able to sell it. But it is this denim jacket from Topshop with the American flag on it, Topshop Moto. It is a size US 4. That's pretty cool. So yeah, it's a bummer that I didn't get it listed in time, but you know, oh well. <laughs> okay, next item I have is opening ceremony. And this is a size medium. This is a good brand it can go for a bit unfortunately the little tag came off here and there is a hole so I'm just thinking like would I want to stitch that close I don't really want to but <laughs> it's kind of wrinkly because it's been sitting in a pile for longer than I'd like to say but it is washed it's 100% cotton so I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna steam this I know that so 
Okay, next item I have, oh yeah. Okay, these I was excited about. So, one thing I've been learning from <laughs> my reselling venture is that I really should just be looking up all pairs of jeans because you don't know which jeans are going to bring you the big bucks. I mean, there's obvious ones that it's like you're familiar with, but it's the ones that you're not familiar with that are potentially gonna bring in a lot of money. So. I saw this pair of jeans in the bins and I didn't really think they're anything special and then I ran comps on them and they're really amazing. So the brand is called Mousy, so it's Mousy Vintage Company and the average sold price on a used pair of these was 150 I think it was with I think 100% sell through rate. So anyway, they're really cool, distressed with a raw hem and I think I actually had to... I was like, did I have to hand, no, I don't think I hand washed these, but I felt like it was kind of detailed. Sorry, pardon my licking of the finger. Yeah, it was hand washed cold and line dry. So apparently these needed to be babied. And for 150 bucks, I definitely hand washed them. <laughs> okay, these are Brandy Melville shorty shorts. These are size 38. There's that. Next, what is this? Oh, this is an All Saints button down shirt size medium it's like a charcoal gray men's it's gonna be men's okay next is a new tag cabbie sweater cable knit sweater it's not totally a cable knit what do you call this and this is a medium large and it's interesting it's like super wide with like a big open sleeve there so I don't know if you don't know cabbie does have style numbers on their tags so looking those up will help you identify the name of the garment I should have put lotion on my hands my hands feel dry <laughs> sorry just random musings okay next item I have is a hardtail skirt I've actually sold this same one before I'm like where's the tag maybe this is inside out but whatever here's the tag I've actually sold this before it's sold kind of quickly it's a maxi with like this tie-dye. It's inside out because this is like the shorter lining that goes on the inside, but I'm lazy and I'm not going to flip it for you, so. <laughs> okay, this brand is, I don't know what this is. It says Sis, is that what it says? No, 818, I don't know. I think somebody gave this to me, but it's cute. It's got cherries all over it and it's ruffly. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It's a size small. We'll see. Okay, next is, I think this is Mark by Mark Jacobs. It's a size small. And I think it's a dress. Yeah, I'm living, I'm reliving all of this with you guys. It's got a Peter Pan collar. It's sleeveless. It's silk. It's real cute. It's going to need a steam. It's black and green. What is this? Oh, this is just a like a Madewell. I think it's like a shopper bag maybe, but it's just a canvas shopper bag. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know I like picking up canvas shopper bags. Oh, this next one's funny too. <laughs> it's another Louis Vuitton dust bag. I picked one up in my last haul, so I'm like, wow, I had two? I don't even remember grabbing another one. Okay, this needs a sweater shave. shave. I did clean it. I believe maybe not anyways um, the brand is Wallace which is a division of Madewell and this is a size medium but it's a just a graphic sweater with an owl on it so that'll be really good for fall but it does need a good sweater shaving okay this this was like a new to me brand the brand is out from under but apparently it's good so I grabbed it it's a size medium and these are just like a little thermal long underwear bottoms with a lace I don't know I don't think they're really thermal long underwear bottoms but I do think it's maybe a pajama item or a night item sorry out of frame okay the next one I have is inside out what is this oh I think I know what this is I grabbed this because I thought it was funny and then I looked up the brand and I actually think it's good so the brand is sacred and it's a size medium I believe this is a men's but it says Coke, Money, and Work. 
that's the triangle of this person's life. So yeah, <laughs> I just thought it was funny. So I grabbed it, but I, I think I did look up comps and they were good from what I remember, but it looks like some of the applique is maybe cracking. All right, next is, I think these are a pair of overalls and the brand is, is it Zara? Yeah, it's Zara. They're a size extra small and it's the TRF. And, oh, okay. So the suspenders like come around and then like weave through here. You know this whole business, right? But anyways, they're very distressed, a light wash. They're cute. Okay, put that there. Oh my gosh, am I moving my camera? I need to stop that right now. <laughs> I'm charging it because my phone always dies when I'm doing this, so sorry if I'm making you seasick. Okay, the next item is Janie and Jack. I said in one of my other videos that I, now I'm picking this up because I didn't know it was good and apparently it's a good brand. So this is a size six to 12 months, little velvet romper, whatever. Okay, this, this I have the belt for but it's, it's down there and I'm not gonna grab it. But this is an 11 Z's dress and this is an anthropology brand. It's a size medium and it's like a wrap, kind of like military safari style. You can't really see it to get the full effect. But here it is. It's long. It's really cute actually. If it was my size, I would like to keep it. It's gonna need a little bit of a steam for it to show really nicely. That's kind of the bummer about it. I've had this stuff sitting for a while, so now I feel like it needs to all be re-steamed because it's not how I want it to look. <sighs> Problems. Okay, the next item is Cartonier, which is anthro. And this is the Charlie Ankle in a size two. These are cute. They're like a black skinny slack, but they've got kind of that pattern on it. I don't know how you describe that, but those are cute. Okay. Next is, what is this? Oh, this is a We The Free top. It's a size extra small and it's just like a burnout tee. Just a basic top. This, oh, this is cool. Yeah, I got excited over this one. This is a Burberry kids shirt in a size, oh, there's all this dust going around everywhere. This is a size six. And yeah, it's got kind of that little Novacek piping on there. Maybe somebody will want that for Christmas because it's red. Okay, next I have a pair of Seven for All Mankind A Pocket jeans. I grabbed these ones because I really liked the A Pocket. I don't always grab A Pocket. I'm going to burp again. But these ones I thought looked really cool. So yeah. And they're size 28 and they're like a flare or a boot cut. Okay. I'll set that there. This is, mm, I don't know what this is. Dress Forum? Mm, Dress Forum Los Angeles. It's a US large women's button down shirt. Gonna have to recomp that. Okay, this is a pair of Adriana Goldschmied jeans. These are the Prima Mid-Rise Cigarette. I don't know if I've ever picked this style up before. They're a size mm -mm -mm, 25R, and they're like a darker rinse, skinny. These are nice, I like these. Okay, next I have a pair of, ugh, Lululemon leggings. I think these, oh, I think they're reversible. Are they reversible? Yeah, I think they're reversible. They're purple on the inside, black on the outside, and they are a size four. Yay for a sizing dot. Awesome. I feel like I've seen these before, and some of them are really staticky. These ones aren't too bad. I've seen some that are more on their last leg than these, so those are actually okay. This is Some Days Lovin', size medium. I don't even know what this is, <laughs> but it's cute. Another sweater, and it's got this braiding. 
kind of all around it. I don't know, it must have been good. I picked it up, so we'll find out. Okay, the next item I have, this is cute. What is this? <laughs> oh, this is Free People, and it is a size. Is that a medium? I have no idea what that says. What do you think that says there? Mm. Do you see at the bottom there? What does that say? It looks like two U's. I don't know, but this is cute. It's like a drum. No, tunic. Okay, mm. come on. Like that. That's all flowy with lace at the bottom. The black is washing me out. But that's what it is. Okay, this is a. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. That's junk. I'm not going to show that. <laughs> okay, this is a pair of Rag and Bone jeans. These are size 24. And they're cool. They have these like zip pockets here and down at the ankle here. They're white and they still look white, which is impressive. Okay, these are a pair of DL 1961 faux leather, I believe, size 32 pants. They are the Florence Midrise Insta Sculpt Skinny. Yeah, they're a faux leather. These are cute. I'm like, these could maybe fit me, but where am I going to be wearing full leather pants to? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is super cute. So the brand is Ixia, which this is sold at Mod Cloth. This is a size small. Can't really see that, but I mean, you know, you can kind of tell that it's Mod Cloth once you start looking at it. It's this cute, cute little cat print. Okay, next item is, I don't know what this is. Look at this. Why did I grab this? I must have looked up the RN or something. M dash dash C. What is this? I'm like, does it say anything on the inside? Oh, here we go. Michelle by Commune. Gonna have to recomp it. I don't know. Maybe it was good. Maybe it's nothing. Maybe it just made it through into my cart. Oh Lord, th I think this one might be the biggest haul. I'm not sure. Okay, so this is a We The Free racerback tank top with a mermaid on it. It's a size small. Next I have, oh, I think I got this for Oliver. <laughs> it's a Zara kit. It says, there's no time for boring... Wait, what does it say? There's no time for boring t-shirts. So yeah, that will go to my child. <laughs> okay, this is a men's. Daniel Patrick T-Raw. I don't know what this is. It's a size large. I remember comping it and I remember seeing that it was good. And then there's this embroidery at the bottom. Does it even say the year? Yeah, 2016. So... You know, it's just the weird stuff that you ought to look up, right? That's going to be the stuff that ends up bringing you the big bucks, shockingly. Not all the time, but some of the time. I'm always surprised. Okay, the next item is another hardtail item. Here again is that tag. This is a size extra large. Ooh, that could fit me. It's not a denim jacket because this is soft. It's definitely like a softer cotton. It's a size extra large white jacket. I'm like, don't try it on, don't try it on. I'm probably gonna try it on. Okay, stay, don't fall over. Okay, this is the first time I found this brand. No, <laughs> I mean, yes, but this is not the one I think I was thinking of. EPTM, this is another men's shirt. This is a size medium. I believe it's a men's. I don't know, it's long, it's very long. I don't know, put, I'll, you know, file it away with that T-Raw shirt. Okay, this is the brand that, this is the first time I found it. It's Lucky Lotus, which I guess is just part of Lucky Brand. It's a size large, again, like a tie-dye, long sleeve shirt. Okay, have you guys ever found that brand before? Probably everyone's found it. I'm just 
I'm late to the game on it. Okay, this is, oh, okay, I think I did look this up. It's Jet John Ishea, size large. Don't remember much about it, but it's this cool denim jacket with, you know, a hoodie stitched in and then, you know, hoodie sleeves. So, yeah. <laughs> this, I love. What's wrong with it, though? I think it's missing a couple buttons or one button. I think this is free, people. It's a really pretty dress. It's a size large. I mean, like, all signs point to me keeping this but I think I have to sew a button or something. Let's see, what's wrong with it? So it's got this T back here in the back. Then it buttons down the front, but where's the issue? Cause I think I started to button it one day. <laughs> I don't know, oh yeah, there's one at the very top there. So I'm not sure if I looked on the inside to see if there were spare buttons. I think I did and there wasn't. So I'm just gonna have to find a button that will match this so which is a kind of distinct button but <laughs> but it's long it's real pretty it will probably fit me but I, that's like two items in a row right now <laughs> okay this is a Calvin Klein dress I just thought this was really pretty I don't pick up Calvin Klein dresses as much to sell myself I usually send them to thread up but I really liked this one it's a heavier knit, it's a size 10. I thought this would be a really pretty, I don't know, is that too flashy for a career dress? I don't know where else you wear it then, but I just thought it was cool looking. Okay, these are a pair of All Saints jeans that are not buttoned up, but that's what they look like if they were. And they're a size, mm -mm -mm. I have no idea, where do they say? I don't know, I might have to measure these and see. If I had to guess, they look like a 24, possibly. Oh, they have distressing on the knees, things to take into account. Okay, this, I could have sent a thread up, but I just thought it was really cute, so I'm gonna sell it myself. It's a Banana Republic dress, it's a size 16, and it's all sequiny. This would be like a perfect holiday dress for somebody, and it's in, like immaculate condition so that in itself is rare from the bins okay this is the perfect <laughs> this is a forever 21 sweatshirt which is you know not super special but it's a John Michael Basquiat design so which I thought was really cool so I grabbed it super soft I thought some young hip person might enjoy it. Okay, I've had, oh, God, I keep dropping stuff. I've had luck selling shapewear, especially Spanx, but I'm not gonna turn down shapewear that's new with tags. This is just jockey, it's got a Macy's tag on it. Originally it was 20 bucks, so I will sell those. This is Adriana Goldschmied top. Can't really see that, it's a size medium, just like this emerald green, very lightweight top okay next is a brandy melville dress one size fits some people <laughs> and it's just this jersey gray dress T tunic maybe it's a tunic it kind of looks small so <sighs> we're getting i'm halfway through the basket if you can imagine a laundry basket sitting next to me okay this is a theory shirt it's a size small I'm trying to see if there's anything wrong with it. I don't think there is, shockingly. Just, you know, white with blue stripes, I think. Cute. Okay, more denim. These are blank and my C. I I just thought they look cool. They're size 27. Heavily distressed. Whoa. Yeah, so there's those. Okay. Next is, oh, this Patagonia shirt. It's a size large, so I'm, I think this is a women's. I don't think this is a men's. And yeah, there it is. Just a soft white, not white, <laughs> just a soft shirt. Uh-oh, I'm starting to get loopy in the video now. 
<laughs> okay, next I have a We The Free top. I think this is inside out, but you'll get the idea because it's just plain. Ivory size small, ribbed, asymmetrical, all the keywords there. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, next is, oh, these are awesome. <laughs> so these are true religion jeans. They are a size 25 and one, they were in excellent condition. I almost didn't want to wash them because they felt new. Now I feel like I need to iron them. Okay, look how, let me show you on the other side. Look at the hem down here or like, do you see how it's going like sideways? It's kind of cool and it does it on this side too. But then check out these pockets. Oh my gosh. They're all sequin gold, which is awesome. So I love these. And then there's a raw hem at the bottom. These jeans are awesome. I would love to have them. <clears throat> I wonder if I can lift that there so I don't have to keep bending over. Okay. Next item is a pair of All Saints jeans. Again, these are the Casey size 25. Here they are, heavily distressed. This one's got like, oh, they both have kind of this patchwork style on them. Next, these are Madewell jeans. These are in very good condition. They are a skinny size 28, a dark rinse. Yeah, those are nice. They look like barely worn, if ever. These are, okay. These are cool. They are, there's like a sticker tag. The brand is Serious Clothing. So this would be like a more alternative piece that I picked up. And they have all this writing on them, which is kind of cool. These also feel like new, other than a bunch of lint on them from the washer, I guess. These are a pair of page color jeans. They're size 29, a skinny like a turquoise. Okay. Next is, what are you? Oh, Madewell, skinny ankle, size 27, just this like army green. Cute. Really like photographing denim. That's what I realized. Um, this is a Carmar denim skirt. Holy destroyed. No, they're shorts. <gasps> These are cute. Um, they're a size 25. Here's the back. Those are awesome. This is two things. First thing, Lululemon? Yes. <laughs> These are a pair of very small Lululemon shorts. Wowza. Those are very small. Uh, with a tag, no less. They are a size 4. Little booty shorts. Put those down there. This is... Oh, marine layer. This is cool. Is this one the men's or women's? I think I've only seen women's marine layer, but I guess this could be a men's. Black, size large. What do you think? What do you know about that? Is it a men's also? I'll find out once I do the listing. And by once I do the listing, I mean once my virtual assistant does. And if your next thought was, you have a virtual assistant? Tell me more about it. Why, I have a video about that. You should check it out. <laughs> Uh, the next item I have is a pair of Madewell jeans. These are, it says the 8 inch skinny, size 26. <laughs> these are cute. I like these. And da, da, da. What are these? Madewell? Madewell. Man, oh, my dryer sheet's in it still. Proof that I wash it. Okay, these are the 10 inch high rise skinny. These are a size 30. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell that the rise. Look at that. Ooh, it's like more of a mom jean. Raw hem. Dun, dun, dun. You guys, I'm like looking around. I'm like, that's it. That's the end of my LA haul. Oh, we did it. Wow. <laughs> Until the next LA trip. Yikes. <laughs> Which is happening sooner than I think. But anyways, that's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.